Greetings, everybody. This is Thunder Wakia in Lakota. I want to preface this video right off the bat by saying that I am not racist. Uh, this has nothing to do with racism. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with a good old boy network, or it doesn't have anything to do with... Uh, any kind of racism or any kind, you know, any kind of uh, preference over race, that type of thing, because I'm, I'm definitely against that, considering my heritage. Now, there's something that I think people should be aware of because I'm noticing it, and I don't, I rarely do videos anymore, but this is kind of something that's like a big red flag, or maybe you could call it a false flag. I don't care what you call it. Uh, I'm looking at the big picture here. So let's talk about what's going on with the Confederate flag and the Charleston incident, and maybe some other things too that I'll touch on while I'm here. Now, if people can't see what's going down here, uh, I'm going to make them aware, or at least I'm going to give them my viewpoint of what I see is going on here, and you be the judge, you tell me. I'm trying to look at the big picture here, and I'm trying to look at all the incidents that have arisen out of this Charleston shooting and this Dylan Roof and some new, some new uh, breaking news that came out today about the whole thing. Now, I'll be the first to say and pat myself on the back that uh, this isn't about, this isn't about the uh, Confederate flag, okay? Let's look at the big picture here. So we had a shooting, the guy was waving a Confederate flag, he was supposedly a racist, uh, and from that, out of that, somehow, miraculously, through Obama's appearance at the funeral and all the, all the goings-on with that, all of a sudden what was born out of that is let's, let's take the Confederate flag, a part of history, let's get this straight, it's a part of history. Uh, it might be a part of history that people don't want to look at, or it might be a part of history that people are really unaware of uh, the actual reasons for that part of history. Um, it, it could be all those things, but it is a part of history. It's a part of the United States heritage. Now they're banning, they're banning the uh, Confederate flag, the flag of the South, which was really even kind of looked like the American flag before it became the, the, the what they call the Confederate flag with the cross with the stars on the red. It was actually closer to looking like the American flag and they called it the stars and bars. Now, why are they all of a sudden like deciding after years and years and years of history and years of this and that to get rid of the flag uh, of the Confederacy? Well, because it represents the good old boys and the rednecks and the racism and all that stuff, they say, okay, they say. But maybe there's a much larger agenda here. And I made an offhand comment on one of my posts that uh, since it was associated with a shooting, a shooting, uh, which could very well have been a staged, I'm not saying that, I'm, not, I'm just saying it's possible. Or if it wasn't staged, they sh certainly did take advantage of it, didn't they? But here we have guns, okay, and, and the flag connected, okay, and they're getting rid of the flag. Well, what, do, what, 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 what does that lead you to? What, what kind of, what kind of uh, observation does that lead you to? Well, why not hook the guns with the flag and get rid of the guns too? Isn't that a possibility? And so if you, did, if you think that's far-fetched, a new revelation came out today that the 
FBI is saying now that they knew about the gun that they sold to this Dylan Roof and they allowed it anyway and that there was a glitch in the buying of this gun. Hello? Okay. Which interpolated out if you got two brain cells that you rub together. Well, there's a problem with there's a problem with the way guns are bought. Okay, and we need to change that or maybe just get rid of guns entirely. Now, if you think this is far out, <coughs> excuse me. If you think this is far out, let's look at Let's just take a, a look at the history of the Civil War in the South and the Confederate flag. And let's look at some, some facts, and you can Google this and look it up for yourself. Don't take my word for it. But on both sides of the issue, uh, a lot of the Union generals owned slaves, okay? A lot of the Union generals owned slaves. In other words... Here they're fighting against slavery, supposedly, and they own slaves. And a lot of the Confederate generals spoke highly and were highly offended at slavery. Okay. And actually, there were, there were black troops that fought on the side of the Confederacy. And now, am I saying that racism wasn't involved in this? No, I'm not saying that because, it, you know, the race issue and the slave issue was involved, but it emerged out of an issue about states' rights, okay? It emerged out of the federal government telling states what they could or could not do, which is a violation of the Constitution. And so the people in the South said, well, if you're going to violate the Constitution, tear it up because it doesn't mean anything. And so they seceded from the Union and Abraham Lincoln was not going to let the Union fall apart. Just like they don't want to let the Union fall apart, the Feds don't want the United States to fall apart now, and they don't want states having their own rights, and they, they don't want states seceding now, okay? And there's been talk of that. So it was about secession and states' rights, and yes, it emerged out of somebody saying, hey, you're not going to tell me I can't have a slave in this. When you people have slaves too, in other words, the northerners had slaves. And so it was more about preserving the union and, and the status quo, the federal uh, system. Then it, in a sense, then it was about slaves, okay? Uh now, again, I'm not racist. I don't think it's right to have anybody be under slavery. Native Americans underwent horrible slavery. Now, today, as I'm doing this, they took the South Carolina flag down. It, it was a Confederate flag, folded it up like it was dead, and put it in a museum. They took the Confederate flag off of Fort Sumter, is what I heard. Okay? They're taking bus of Confederate uh, war heroes. Now, let's get this straight. War heroes were on both sides, okay? Both sides, and they were both traumatized, and it was brother fighting brother, and it's a part of American history. Are they trying to erase a part of American history and make it like it didn't happen, just like they did with the Native Americans? And one person said, I'm so glad they took down that Confederate flag because it caused me so much pain. And I'm like, okay, let's take down the American flag. Let's take down the stars and stripes that good old Betsy Ross put together. Let's take that down because think of the pain, okay? Think of the pain that that causes Native Americans. Since that flag was flown many, many times on many massacres like Sand Creek and Wounded Knee and many other massacres, uh, that causes pain for natives. But are they going to get rid of that flag too? Definitely not. Although they might want to put a swastika in the middle of it, seeing the way things are going now. 
but definitely not. They're not going to get rid of the American flag. So here we have America. Here's the big picture, people. Here's the big picture. They're getting rid of a symbol that equates the Confederate flag, equates with being a rebel, being not wanting to go along with the status quo, having states' rights, all that type of thing, and it goes along with guns because guns are associated with rednecks in the South, although a lot of Americans have them, okay? Now, that's what it's all about, people. It's a concerted effort to demonize and make wrong a symbol of American history. And was there any vote taken on this by the American people? Was there a consensus? Because I go on the internet and I see it split right down the middle. Now let me tell you another thing. This could be an agenda for a race war. Hello? I mean, what better thing to turn blacks against whites and whites against blacks by saying that this has everything to do with race and nothing to do about secession and states' rights? What better thing to cause a race war. And what better way to cause a race war than Obama coming out and crying and bleeding and pleading and doing all his antics at a funeral? He's the prez. He should remain neutral. But he's black, people. Now, how do we know that this isn't a, some kind of orchestrated event to cause a race war eventually? And a and hook it in with guns, okay? And from there, put two and two together, you got martial law. And what's coming up real soon? Jade Helm. Jade Helm's coming up in about a week. Where they're taking over, they're, you know, they're, they're doing military exercises in all the southern states. Southern states. Southern. And southwest, okay? So there you have it in a nutshell, people. I want you to consider everything I said today. And remember, remember, this is, goes way beyond. I'm a thinker and I'm a seer. Okay? And I could be totally wrong on this. But isn't it better to be safe? And isn't it better to notice things and put two and two together and wonder, well, why? Why all of a sudden, just because of one shooting, uh, you know, racist shooting, supposedly with a Confederate flag? Come on, there's been all kinds of racist incidents throughout the history of America with racist flag, I mean, with uh, Confederate racist flags, as they would say. Uh, or there's been all kinds of, you know, there's been all kinds of uh, killings, okay? associated with race and why all of a sudden now are they like making a big deal out of it and why are they why is this big push i mean seriously i got a friend that lives in tennessee and and they're they're getting upset down there okay they're getting upset uh i'm not saying they're right i'm not saying they're wrong i'm saying they're getting upset and maybe that's exactly what they're pushing for Maybe that's exactly what they're pushing for, that people get upset, uh, that things break out. Uh, maybe people will go to NASCAR races and wear their flags and get defiant, or maybe, uh, who knows what could happen? Who knows what could happen from this point on? I'm saying beware. <laughs> I'm saying beware because what seems to be a cut and dried issue, it isn't. Okay, now the other thing I'm going to talk about is the July 4th thing where they said, oh, there's going to be a terrorist attack. There's for sure going to be a terrorist attack. And they had all these cops and they were telling you to watch out and you, you be fearful and not even be able to celebrate the 4th in a relaxed manner or whatever. I don't celebrate it anyway. But many people came out as they do every time and said, well, what happened to the big terror? Because they've said this before. Oh, the alert level's going up. Something's going to happen. Uh, there's going to be a terrorist attack and it never happens. There hasn't been a terrorist attack in this country since 9-11. And we don't know if that was a terrorist attack, do we? 
So, after the fact, today in the newspaper, USA Today, FBI comes out and says they foiled 10 terrorist attacks associated with Islam and Muslims and <clears throat> ISIS and oh really? But we can't give the details. We can't give the details. We don't want to further elaborate upon it. Well, that's as good as saying that it's a lie, okay? If you can't give the details and you can't elaborate and you can't give the specifics. Well, anybody can come out and say, yeah, there was 10 terrorists. I could come out and say, yep, there was 10 terrorist attacks on my house today. and But I won't give the details about it. Come on, people. Are you drinking Kool-Aid or something about all this stuff? Again, this doesn't have, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reiterate the whole video here. It doesn't have a thing to do with being a racist or a redneck. It has to do with symbols that they don't like. And being able to take those symbols out at a moment's notice. Confederate flag, boop, gone. Don't need it. Uh, <clears throat> take your American flag and boop, don't need it. That's what I say. Because that causes pain for a lot of people too, especially now, those living in slavery are just like the Native Americans were and still are. So I want you to think about all these things and don't be, don't post some kind of comment on here calling me a racist or something because that means you didn't listen to the video. <clears throat> and that means that you're not a thinker. And that means that you're like a fish getting reeled in hook, line, and sinker to their agenda. And they do have an agenda, okay? And it's pretty obvious to me. Now, that's just my opinion, and I thought I'd get this video out. And if you like this video, pass it around if you think that it's got merit. The thumbnail I put on here with the Confederate flag, if I decide to do that, may not even get out there. I mean, they're starting to ban. You're going to be lucky if you can find Confederate flags on a on Google as an image. Okay, and but so I'm going to put a picture of a, a war scene with the Confederate flag. That's kind of my my uh, my thoughts right now, and I might. I might entitle this Charleston, Confederate flag, uh, red flag, okay, or false flag. Because you need to look at this stuff real closely. You just don't eliminate symbols from our past. One last thing. What happened to freedom of expression? Okay, what happened to freedom of speech? If they're going to make it so that the Confederate flag is a no-no and it you know, let's say you wore a t-shirt that had the Confederate flag and people beat the shit out of you, nationalists or something. This could easily cause a race war, black against white, okay? Black against white. So they're taking symbols again and erasing them. Boom, right out of history, people. Right out before your own very eyes. All those soldiers that thought they were fighting for the secession and the soldiers they were fighting for anti-slavery. If you really look close at this, trust me, the union winning might have made everybody slaves because it instituted the federal government and all their laws. And I'm not saying this, but a lot of people in the South might think, well, it would have been better had the South won Okay, and again, I don't care who, who wins or who loses or, well, I care who loses, but I don't care who thinks they're winning when all of this is a charade. It's a charade to take away symbols. What's, what is going to be the next symbol? Is it going to be the peace sign of the 60s? Are they going to take that and say, well, that was a bad, turbulent time in our era and a lot of people were killed and... Or are they going to take, you know, something from the Vietnam era and, and make that a symbol that is no longer needed in our culture? Whether our culture has done wrong things or right things, you don't erase history. History, there's lessons in history. Any goon knows that. Any idiot knows that. 
just like they erased everything that they can about the, the genocide of the Native Americans, instead of fessing up to it, okay, and saying they made a mistake, they erased it, okay? They made the Indians look bad. So take this for exactly what it is, just opening your eyes so that you can see the, see the, see the light, okay? This is thunder, I've said enough. Uh, and for all those trolls out there that'll be pouring in trying to label me or somebody trying to label me, you better watch this video about three times or you're going to be deleted, okay, from any comment section. Okay, I'm out of here, over and out. Roger that.